Hello. What's going on you guys? I'm here at YCS Anaheim with Boy Asian Persuasion and we're here with what's your name bro? Uh, my name is Christian Sagabini. Awesome and what did you do here in Anaheim? Uh, I got top 32. Yeah that's unlucky. What deck did you play? Uh, ABC. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Everyone's running it. Alright. Everyone's yeah. running it. Makes sense. Alright you want to get into the deck profile? Uh, I'm not going to explain much because you guys probably already know what everything does. I run yep. three A's, three B's and then my our build got my teammate Jason Chu. Uh, night before uh, YCS we were like up all night trying to figure out what the ratio should have been so we ended up cutting it to two C's because like it's probably like the worst one to draw and like when you have hanger pose on thrasher with a field like this is probably like the better choice to add so you don't draw into it. that's like, yeah. essential like, Makes sense. and like if you're a good player you're just gonna play around and you have two C's anyway right. if you, and if you banish it with desire it's super unlucky did you ever run into any like situations you played only two C that you weren't able to bring out buster at a time you needed it or did the uh, ratio I mean, still work out yeah the ratio always worked out like uh well we just we like having cutting down three C's just made it more room for us to run more cards. So. It makes sense. Yeah, but we still ran 44. So oh, I'll okay. just show you the right. Oh, good. We ran the two gadgets, obviously yep. two gold, two silver, two photons. This was like a like a last edition ad because we were really running this, but we were like, uh, this just gets over maxi. Like if you get maxi with silver and gold, it's just like so dumb. So it's better to give them two draws and three, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Two draws and three. And then you ran the two garnets for the. Brilliance. Oh yeah, so I ran the brilliant. I ran oh, okay. two brilliant yeah. for this, and then the the trick clown, clown yeah. and then we ran two maxis because you. This is like a die roll format, so like this makes it just so you're safe going second, and then makes it and your opponent plays has to play weird, and if they don't, then you just punish them. So that's pretty much why we ran it. Right. And if you go first, like then you just side them out when you're siding. So I ran the yeah. yep. three hangers, the three terraformings, three desires, three brilliance. Two twins because we started the third one because then it doesn't contribute anything going first unless like you open like super bad with like where you have to go like pop C special make a suit somewhere. And two instant fusions. I hated this card because there was so many times during like, this whole tournament I drew both of them. And it was just completely dead. You only run one or in, so I'll probably just copy uh, Kevin, Kevin, just Kevin Wu and run one. <laughs> but yeah, and then, and then we opted to play two uh, dark hole because we, me and my teammate Jason, we were just like convinced that like board wipe would just like win everything and like book of clips like it's good but it doesn't get like if you're not if you're not able to the, the beat their board then you're just giving them more advantage yeah. so why not just clear the board and then just push your stuff in yeah so, and then but then like this cost me my top 32 because game three i opened both of them and like usually it's good against middle foes but he had bumbuku all three games so it's just like a, a field full of magic scepters just like destroyed me and then i ran the one foolish this adds uh, fuel for your busters or sense trick clown just like Essentially, like a photon thrasher on drugs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, reusable. And then we ran three barriers. We were, we were running two before, mm -hmm. but three is just like stun. You know, it's like like emptiness on like one turn, so it's like broken. And then the two strikes, and then the one and the just yeah. awesome. That's it. That's forty four. Yeah. Uh, that's my side or extra person. Uh, you choose. Is there uh, anything you would change in the main deck going forward? Well, main deck, I'll probably maybe not main deck. Well, I just really hate institution. Like I said, I'll probably take out one. Right, just go to but one. I'm like over this deck. I'm yeah. not gonna play this thing anymore. <laughs> well, let's go extra deck. Right. Uh, so go on. Go on. Uh, yeah. Three uh, ABC Busters, obviously. Seraph Knight for the Brilliant. Norden for the Insufusion. One Insufusion, whatever. Yeah. And the two Dire Wolves. We were running, we were running one before. And I'm pretty sure that we should still run one because uh, Kerry Gorgon, we were protecting that card for a while and that card's pretty broken. It's like when they Cosmic you, then you can just target something else, like a, one of their skills. So it's just like, it's pretty broken. Because there was never a situation where I want to go two, or I mean one, or two in a, in a game. Yeah. So it's just like, like, and instant fusion is just like that's this is just a dire wolf on like instant like instant fusion is just used for dire wolf pretty much and then the one soup the one gigan emerald dweller rhapsody we added this last minute this actually took the spot for the carry gorgon so yeah this card is super clutch like i, I don't know I, I, I like we thought about it for or like why did we ever take this out it just <laughs> steals games i remember my uh teammate in like round eight we saw him use this and remove both ronins on his of his opponent i was like oh that's a gg oh yeah and then uh, we ran the, cas the castel, and then the two utopias. Nice sense. Right. Uh, Thank so you. the side deck. Uh, this is actually my favorite part of the deck, even though I changed a lot of it. But we ran the three chaos center, which because when you play against ABC and they go Sugiyomi, 
they're like unable to banish for their buster, so like this just runs over its suit and you still have follow up, so it's like you just set your opponent behind, but this is only good going second. I mean, you have to open it, but yeah, this is kind of often. And then the two, three retaliatings, I use it against heroes, one me a game, and then it's also for metal foes when the infusion remove everything, so it's broken. Uh, the two anti spells, obviously, metal foe, uh, two typhoons, metal foe. And then two system downs for the mirror match. Like we, I think two's better because you never want to draw them multiple. So like, uh, like, and I usually kept them in going first and second. So it's just like you want to open one, but you don't want to open two. Something. Like that. And then the one, <laughs> the one in uh, Quivin, 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 Quivin. I usually get my boy Vito back here oh, no. at round eight because he goes tags out Buster and like I thought his set card was a equivity and if he, it was I would have lost but it wasn't and like it just changed it shifted the whole pace of the game and then put me in favor of it and I was just like oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> and I put the third uh, third twin twister uh, yeah for uh, Bailey Zoics uh, Metal Flow, whatever and then yeah. Magna Reverse has actually stole me a game because like I was I had like one ABC Buster Dragon in the graveyard and my opponent was like had no way to play around this card so he went right when he cleared my board he set his last card for his buster without so he had no ditch target and I go Magna Reverse summon remove his buster and then yeah. that was like game. Game. that was game awesome sure so any shout outs you want to give man oh yeah I have a lot of shout outs oh, uh, let me just bust them out real quick <laughs> oh shout out to my team Generation of Miracles uh, we just put in so much work for this event we put in like a month and a half of testing like so many bills like like scrapped and drawn out uh, shout out to Just Flip my locals back home, uh, oh. donating boxes to us. Uh, team uh, group chat on Facebook, team Kiss Me, my team, uh, yeah, team Chad's house, my house. Uh, ultimate cards, uh, TCG, Cal over there. Hey. <laughs> um, to my girlfriend Caressa, to my bog doctor. Brownie points. Boxer. Brownie points. Uh, and points. then like the main people I tested with, Willie, he like gave me all the cards, never stopped like supporting us. Uh, Elvis still in the top uh, 16. My boy Jason still doing the regional over there. Yeah. And Johnson, you just gave him a profile earlier. Yeah. And Vito, my good luck charm. I'm gonna tell you a little story. Every time I played him in YCS, I've taught. And this, <laughs> this is not any different. So I shout out to him. Oh my god. And um, to Alexis losing to Calvin. <laughs> Sorry, Alexis. <laughs> and then uh, this is my first SoCal event. So I won two NorCal's and this is my first SoCal. Nice. And then uh, Gamers Den in Watsonville. This is awesome. All right, awesome. sure, man. Congrats on getting top 32. Thank and thanks for Deck Profile.